we present a lesson on technical drawing. We will discuss dimensioning and drawings. We aim to achieve the following. 1. Explain the term dimensioning as used in drawing. 2. Categorize the types of dimensioning used in drawing. 3. What is dimensioning? Dimensioning refers to the process of adding or indicating measurements on a drawing. Dimensioning helps to show the size and shape of the represented object. The measurements include the following. 1. Measurement values in proper units. 2. Lines. 3. Symbols. 4. Abbreviations. 5. Notes. These are examples of dimension drawings. What do dimensions in a drawing show? Dimensions in a drawing help to show the following characteristics of the represented object. 1. Length. 2. Width. 3. Height. 4. Diameter. 5. Radius. 6. Angle. Always remember the following points. 1. Accurate dimensioning is essential for creating clear and precise drawings. 2. Dimensioning in a drawing should be complete. 3. Ensure that you use the correct units of measurement, for example, centimeters or inches. 4. Draw the dimension lines in a way that is easy to read. Let us now discuss the following types of dimensioning in a drawing. 1. Linear dimensioning. 2. Circular dimensioning. 3. Angular dimensioning. 4. Arc length dimensioning. Linear dimensioning. This type of dimensioning is indicated using straight lines, which are drawn either horizontally or vertically. Linear dimensioning is used to indicate the following in a drawing. 1. Length. 2. Width. 3. Depth or height. This diagram illustrates linear dimensioning. There are two methods of linear dimensioning. Baseline dimensioning. It is also known as parallel dimensioning. The dimension lines begin from the same point and are measured in the same direction. The dimension lines are parallel to each other. Continuous or chain dimensioning. It is also known as serial dimensioning one long dimension is broken into shorter individual sections. The long dimension is the sum of the individual shorter segments. As the name suggests, the shorter sections are arranged in a chain or in series. Circular dimensioning. This type of dimensioning is used to indicate measurements in circles. Circular dimensioning is used to indicate the following in a drawing. 1. Diameter. 2. Radius. This illustrates circular dimensioning. The shown symbol indicates diameter. This illustrates circular dimensioning. The symbol, R, indicates the radius. Angular dimensioning. This type of dimensioning is used to indicate the measurements of angles. Angular dimensioning is indicated in degrees. The following diagrams illustrate angular dimensioning. Arc length dimensioning. Dot a circle has different parts as shown in the diagram. Arc length dimensioning is used to show the measurement of an arc this diagram illustrates the arc length. 